Good morning, everyone, and thanks, Desiree. That was a great presentation, and I'm going to cover how not to get into an enterprise disaster with machine learning. So that's going to be my topic. Over the next five minutes or so, what I want to do is talk to you about what we have learned working with dozens of uh, enterprise customers on machine learning, on the lessons that we have learned. So we are in the heart of Silicon Valley, and I'm not going to get into the mechanics of machine learning, but when I look at machine learning, there are three Ds to it. Uh, one is data. How do you make sure that the data you have, you understand the data, you cleanse the data, you transform the data? And once you have done that, how do you do the development of the models? So you have to pick the right algorithm, you have to train the model, and then you have to score the model, right? And then the third piece, which is, I think, the most critical piece is deployment. And especially with the enterprise customers, it's so critical that you bring the notebook that you have created into an infrastructure that has been around for decades. And that brings to my first point, which is operationalizing ML goes beyond data science competitions. The reason I say it is because in a data science competition, uh, the data is clean. The problem, the scope, is defined. And then you're competing for a log loss of 0 0.00001. But in the real world, it's different. So majority of enterprise customers have applications that was written in the 70s or 60s. They have uh, rules-based engines that make decisions for them today. They also have uh, third-party applications that you cannot change. So the question is, like, how do you infuse ML, machine learning, into that, into that existing infrastructure? Let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say you deploy a model. It becomes stale. How do you make sure you retrain that model without taking it offline? How do you put a feedback loop in there so that the model is getting retrained using real-time data? Another example, how do you do model management? What version of the model was deployed where? Was it in QA? Was it in development? Was it in production? How do you make sure that the security, the governance layer overarching this is there? And the last piece is that, you know, let's say you have a COBOL application that exists that was written in the 70s or 80s. Now you have developed an R model that you want to deploy. How do you marry those two? These are the kind of challenges that our enterprise customers face. And that's why I brought up this point. The next one is, these are the lessons we have learned, right? So sometimes the 50 cent algorithm works just as well as a $5 algorithm. What do I mean by that? So we love deep learning, okay? Deep learning is in our DNA. Watson is built all around deep learning. But my point is classic ML is not dead, meaning on the left-hand side, we have the you know, support vector machine, and the right-hand side is a, um, is a neural net. Sometimes a logistic regression might do the trick. Why do I say that? It's faster to train. If you are using hyperparameters, you know, it's easier to tune. And the third point, which is also a critical point for our enterprise customers, which brings me to the next one, which is the algorithm told me so ain't going to work. I'll give you an example. Let's say you are a, a financial bank, and this is a real, you know, we are working with customers, and you created a model that does loan processing. You come to us for a loan, and we deny the loan. You have to explain to that consumer why you denied that loan. Was there bias involved? Was there discrimination? Was it fair? Was it transparent? A regulator might ask these questions. How do you explain that? Or let's say, you know, another one we are working with is a hospital chain, where they're taking a patient's vital signs and making a decision or a prediction when to call in the doctor. First of all, that model better not go wrong or predict wrong. Second, if it predicts wrong, you better be able to explain why that prediction went wrong. So it's so critical 
that model explanation or model interpretation, especially for enterprise customers. I mean, I just put, you know, summarized, given the five minutes, I summarized into three key points that I thought are important as we are working with dozens of enterprise customers. And I have only touched the tip of the iceberg, folks. What I want to do is, like, I want to invite you guys to um, come and engage with us because we have been working with these customers. We are learning a lot. Uh, engage with us in two ways, right? One, go to ibm.com data science, where we have all the tools, uh, especially from a feedback loop, whether it's monitoring, whether it's management, whether it's a canvas where you want to go visualize, visualize and build models. We have all those things using our data science experience. Or come and work with us. We have a machine learning hub right here in the Silicon Valley. Come and work with us. We have trained data scientists who have been working with enterprise customers. We are available at booth 1315, so come and talk to us with that. Hope you enjoyed the five minutes. Thank you so much.